Hi hey folks, this is Kwabana with OpenMV, and today I'm going to be showing off some new features uh, using thermal vision with your OpenMV Cam H7 and also uh, M7 that allow you to uh, have fun with cheaper thermal vision sensors um, like the uh, SparkFun uh, AMG uh, 883 sensor and uh, the MLX uh, 640 uh, thermal vision sensor. Um, so this AMG uh, 8833 sensor is an 8x8 um, uh, thermal vision camera and um, you can do stuff like uh, you know measuring non-contact temperature with it just like a, uh, lept a FLIR lepton. Um, so today I'm going to be showing off, uh, let's say, us uh, looking at a hot air gun um, just because uh, I didn't have anything else around in my house to uh, look at that's uh, puts out a lot of heat. Um, anyway, so uh, if we kind of line our camera up in front of this guy, we can see that the, uh, let's see what the, what's the orientation here, um, that the uh, grid eye sensor can kind of make out this, uh, what, what's the temperature of the hot air gun and see that the, you know, the surface is around uh, 40 degrees. And if we get a little bit closer, it sees it's actually about 50 degrees C. Um, and so this feature is uh, basically we just have this guy, you know, in front of the camera attached via I squared C bus. And the OpenMV cam is just reading in the data, processing it, and getting the thermal image out and displaying it. Um, and since it is on an I squared C bus, be careful about, you know, maneuvering those wires too much. Um, anyway, uh, you can pretty much seamlessly just buy the sensor off the shelf along with the uh, hookup cable that's provided by SparkFun and get to playing around with thermal images. Okay, let me just uh, get these wires a little bit more taut. All right, cool. Um, so anyway, uh, the benefit of using the AMG88 sensor is it's about uh, $40 compared to the uh, $260 of a uh, FLIR lepton. Um, now, you have two different ways of interacting with the thermal image. Okay, I'm just going to stop removing that since it's uh, causing issues. Cool. Now oh, there's me. Yeah. Let me just get that locked in. Great. All right, so got a bunch of wires in front. And so as you can see, you can kind of make out my temperature too in the field of view. Great. Um, yeah, so as a uh, eight by eight pixel sensor, you're not really gonna have any resolution to really do anything super cool with it, but it's uh, still able to do like, uh, you know, detection of people in a room or something like that. Um, anyway, so the two ways you can interact with the thermal images are um, you can either just draw directly the thermal information as an overlay on top of the main image, or you can draw the overlay on an empty frame buffer by itself, and then you can run any of our computer vision algorithms, like uh, fine blobs in particular, on the extra frame buffer and uh, get those detections and then you know try to track something in a room or something like that. Um, again, it's going to be a little hard with just 8 by 8 pixels, but we still have it. Um, at the minimum, though, you can get the temperature of a giant area, um, so the temperature reading of the AMG sensor is uh, pretty good, and uh, you can get the current ambient temperature along with um, being able to get the uh, min and max, which is nice. Uh, great. So we also have other sensors, like the original um, one that came with our thermal vision seal, the uh, MLX90621. Uh, and so this is um, a, another uh, 256, uh, well, 64 pixel sensor. Um, but it is a uh, 16 by 4 resolution, so it's got a lot more uh, you know, horizontal res than vertical. Um, anyway, though, um, as you can see, you can see this. Uh, so this one has a shield, so it's a little bit it's mounted a little bit better than the previous sensor, which was just uh, connected by wires. But um, you can see that uh, this guy can pick out the hot air vent too and see the temperatures around 50 degrees Celsius. And so you know that's that's hot enough where it gives you a little bit of a burn, but you can still touch it without your uh, skin melting off. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so now that now you basically have uh, all these sensors kind of supported in one nice package um, with your open MV cam and you can see the uh, MLX sensor can also see my face too um, however I'll bet I'll be kind of blurry um, anyway so the most useful sensor you're going to find out of this new package is the MLX 640 so let me just hook that guy up um, really quick so with this sensor, you actually get a decent amount of resolution to play with. That's going to make it a lot. Uh, it's going to make it very cheap to to get some computer vision, uh, thermal computer vision on the go without having to break the bank. Um, anyway, so let me just uh, activate this guy now. Okay, 
So we've got a refresh rate of around 16 hertz of this, and as you can see, the resolution is quite um, is much more overlapped now. Uh, I'm kind of mounting this guy right in front of the OpenMV cam. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, we can pick out, uh, we can kind of see where this, uh, move the thermal camera out a little bit more. Um, we can see the, uh, the uh, hot air gun's temperature there. It's uh, a little bit tricky to, you know, orientate them so that they're facing the right uh, view and such. Um, anyway, yeah, so we can see that again, it agrees that the temperature is around, um, you know, 50 degrees Celsius for the type, tip of that gun. Um, yeah, well, you may wish to, you know, generate your own better mounting solution than just kind of having this guy sitting on top of the cam. But uh, whatever you want to do, you can out with open MV cam. Uh, anyway, yeah, so let's see if I point it at my face. You can see that it makes me out. Cool. Um, this guy is actually has enough resolution that it can kind of see my glasses that I'm wearing. As you can see, you turn them around, you can see those blobs there. Pretty neat. Um, yeah, so note that you can run, um, we support a snapshot function now on the fear module, so if you want to treat it as a camera sensor by itself, you can. Um, or you can just do overlays um, and switch between things like right here. Uh, finally, note that um, notice that we've uh, improved the vision quality on the uh, OpenMV Cam M7 for this demo. Um, the way you can do that is uh, if you call the uh, image.compress method on the frame buffer and set the quality to something like 90, this will force the uh, OpenMV Cam uh, M7 to uh, make a high quality JPEG compressed image. Of course, it will lower the uh, streaming rate of that image just due to the lack of memory and other various things, but um, you can still do that if you'd like. Uh, normally, the uh, default algorithm tries to keep images at a very low compression level, but it makes it very hard to read stuff like text if you just kind of let uh, that run without forcing it to be some value. Um, anyway, so uh, we support uh, both the uh, 50 degree sensor, I believe, and the 110 degree one also. Um, and uh, we actually made a little shield for this, but uh, I don't think we're going to be stocking these kind of sensors just because it's quite expensive to uh, build them out. Um, so we're just going to let you guys go to SparkFun if you want to have your own thermal vision and uh, have fun with it. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's the uh, upgraded uh, fear module on the OpenMV Cam. And uh, please support the OpenMV Cam H7 so that we can continue to make OpenMV Cams in the future. Um, thank you very much. Bye bye.